with you again. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to extend the data model again. And in this case, we will add a new customer enum data type property. And that will allow us to select a customer that the incident is related to. And once we import that management pack into Service Manager, we'll see that custom enum data type property show up on the customized form and we'll be able to set enumeration list values uh, for each customer. So first let's start by creating a new management pack. We'll call this uh, customer, we'll call this incident customer. There we go. <clears throat> now you can see over here in the management pack explorer that we have nodes for classes, forms, and workflows. At this point we have no classes, forms, or workflows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend the data model. So we'll go to the class browser and we'll switch our filter to look in all management packs. And we will look for the incident work item class. We'll right click on that, choose to view it. And this will bring up the class editor in the middle here. Now, because this particular incident class here is inside the incident management library, which is a sealed management pack, you can see that it is not possible to edit any of the properties of the incident class. But you can see them all here, and you can also see the relationships and, uh, and so on, which the uh, other classes they point to. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to right-click on the incident class and choose to extend it. Here we're choosing which management pack we want to store our customization in. In this case, we'll choose the management pack that we just created a moment ago. Click OK. And here, we, if we wanted to, we could change the name of our extension class or the description. But what, we, what we want to do in this case is we want to create a property. So here we'll call this the customer property. And we'll change the data type of this property from string to list. And here we could choose from available lists in the management pack catalog, or we could create a new list. In this case, since customer is not something we provide out of the box, we will create a new one. And then we select it, and we click OK. <clears throat> Alright, so we're done with that at this point. And the next thing we want to do is customize the incident form. So we can go over here to the form browser and we can search for the incident form. And we can right click on that and choose to view it. This will bring up the form here in the middle pane. And then we'll click on the customize button. And again, this will prompt us for which management pack we want to store our customizations in. In this case, we'll store it in the same management pack. At this point, we can come along and customize the look of this form. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to maybe make this field here a little bit more narrow so that we have space for our new control. Uh, See, we need to change the horizontal alignment to right and also change this so that it's also to the right. Okay, <clears throat> now we would want to add in a label control here. This can get a little bit tricky here with the layout, but you'll get the idea. You can play around with it. Um, so this particular label, we want to call it right here. We'll change the content to customer, and then we want to add a list picker control. And the list picker control, we'll just add in here uh, right below it in theory. And again, you'll kind of have to play around with this, but I don't really want to mess around with playing with it, but you get the idea here. So 
Now what we want to do is we want to bind this to our new uh, list data type property that we created for a customer. So we're going to choose the binding path here and we'll choose dot dot dot. And that'll let us choose from the available list data type properties including the new customer data type property we created a few minutes ago. So at this point we have our new custom form design. We have a customer label, a customer drop down control and so on. And so we'll go ahead and save our management pack. And at this point, we will go over here and we will import our management pack. Here's the management pack we created. Okay, now just make sure we've got all the latest information. Let's go ahead and close the console and reopen it. And then what we need to do is we need to add a couple of customers to our list. So we'll go over here to the list view in the library. And we'll look for the customer list. And we'll go to properties. <clears throat> we'll choose to add an item. And we'll call the first one here customer A. And then we'll add a customer B. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can go over to the incident view. And click on create incident. This will bring up the incident form. And you can see that it is customized according to the design that we did. And uh, we can choose the customer dropdown here, either customer A or B. And we can choose all the other properties as appropriate and provide a title, test, and then uh, you'll also notice that we put the customer property over here on the extension tab. You don't necessarily have to dis you know, customize the form to display these additional properties on the form. You can just put them in the extensions tab here. That happens by default. And if you want to, there's a blog post that shows you how to import a management pack to hide this extensions tab if you are going to put all of your controls on the main form. So at this point, we can save the incident, we can bring it back up, we can see that in fact the customer value is saved, and we can also even go in here and do some tricky things like edit the view to show the customer column. So we can click on customer, this changes the configuration of this view, and now we'll have a customer column in our view. Now that we've extended the model to display <clears throat> or to capture this additional property, here you go, customer A. Uh, now that we've extended the model to capture this additional property, it's available for uh, view columns, for view criteria, notification subscription criteria, and so on. It's just become a part of the model. So there you have it. Very quickly, in just a couple minutes, we were able to extend Service Manager to capture a custom property like the customer that an incident is related to and uh, populate some values for that new property and then uh, also customize the form so we can show that control on the form and capture that input from the analysts. Thanks for watching.